What's good things of all ages? It's Dead Dog here, and today you're watching some Call of Duty Ghost gameplay in the background. Now, you can expect a lot more of this because I'm having a lot more fun in Call of Duty Ghost. What are you talking about, Dead Dog? You said this game is terrible. And I know I said that, but I'm finally having fun with this game. So, expect more gameplay. But we don't like Call of Duty Ghost. Get over it. It's happening. Alright, now jumping into today's topic. How to make Call of Duty better. Now, as you might have guessed, I don't think Call of Duty Ghost really raised the bar that much. But, upon further inspection of said game, I've learned that it does have a lot of cool stuff in it. So, let's, let's talk about the cool stuff. There is character customization, um, hmm. Well, that's pretty much it, but that little bit is still pretty damn cool. But if they want to get better, they need to have some intense stuff. We don't want this just like, there's like, I mean, I know there's a lot of choices that, what is it, like over 10,000 different combinations, but you're, you're, everyone's usually running the basic stuff. And I much usually running the, the same costumes I mean it could be better now Activision I don't know if they are able to do this but look at that look at that shot that was amazing all right so Activision I don't know if they're able to do this but have some cool stuff I mean I know they got the rights to Predator and Michael Myers but get some other things that we can be I besides people from I mean it's pretty cool to play as Makarov and Price and whatever but get people from other Activision games um I don't know what well, what else does Activision make uh I really don't even know but when Destiny comes out you could play someone from uh, Destiny I don't know and yeah that that would be cool but also if you improve the character customization I mean we don't want just costumes we want like full I, I don't know if any of you ever played uh, Gotham City Imposters. Uh, different body types had different effects. Everything was cool. And I think they could incorporate that into Call of Duty. And also maybe, like, any, any customization. Like, you have three years to work on this. Get something like PS Home. Something like uh, The Sims. Uh, Gotham City Imposters. Anything. Something really cool. Black Ops 1 started the trend with the face paint, and then Call of Duty Ghost picked up where they left off with this different body types and stuff. I mean, it's a start, but I want like a category like you get cool gloves, you can get a cool shirt, you can get some pants instead of just a shirt and pants being linked together, nice hats, some sunglasses maybe. Last game that there was customizable sunglasses was World at War, and that was a perk. Shades which I thought was pretty damn cool, but just imagine, you're just, just an average guy with, you got those sunglasses, and maybe you got like some heavy metal boots, and you're wearing like a guinea tee, that would be awesome, it would be a tad weird, but still pretty awesome, and Activision needs to do this, because uh, it would just give your soldier such a personal look, and it would be beyond awesome to just run around and be like hey, that guy's just wearing underwear and he's in a war I mean clearly you might have like decreased health or something but that's I don't know and and make things have like special abilities I mean like uh, DC Universe has like all those shirts and they have perks and stuff like you could have these boots and when you it decreases fall damage by just a little bit and then there's these other boots that make you jump just a little higher and then there, maybe if you don't have a shirt on you take a higher damage to the chest but if you're wearing a shirt uh well maybe more of a jacket you might take less damage i don't know and it just it, that would be a bunch of cool stuff that needs to be in call of duty and also the gun customization have it something like uh, ghost recon um what else uh battlefield is a good cu gun customization it's just we need more than like those five camos black ops one had like 50 like tons of camos i mean granted there was no challenges but just just 
epicness. I mean, what, it just happened like, whatever challenge you do, you get a camo. Get 500 kills with this weapon. Camo. Get so-and-so assist with this weapon. Camo. Use this weapon for like 10 hours. Camo. All of like, all that cool stuff. Like, use assault rifles for a combination of, uh, I don't know, get gold on your assault rifles. Camo. Bam! Unlock all assault rifles. Camo. There's so much stuff they could do and they're not doing it. Like, and then also, have you be able to put different camos on your gun? More than one camo. Maybe you want the, the back of the gun to be uh, orange and the, the front to be blue. Maybe you want to make a nerf gun and make a combination of two camos. That would be epic! And it's not in the game. Uh, tweet at uh, Treyarch. At Treyarch. We want more customization. Start a hashtag. Hashtag Treyarch. Or hashtag customization because I think it might be too late for Sledgehammer unless they already started doing this because their game's coming out less than in six months. Actually, no, that's not true. They, they have like seven months, but I don't think they're adding that in. Uh, Treyarch is really the next company that could really up the ante of customization of Call of Duty. So, I really hope you guys agree with me. Please leave a comment, subscribe, deep fry that like button, and if you enjoyed this video, go tweet at Treyarch or whatever and expect more greatness from Death Hog. And if you haven't already, check out my uh, Project Warp trailer. This can be coming real soon with all my friends. So, it's been Death Hog, it's been real. Peace out, I'm out. I